Hey, we knew uh, all of you wanted to know more about components and uh, what's coming next for Pemper 2.0. So here's a video that we prepared. Enjoy it. One of the main changes that brings this new version of components with Pempo 2.0 is that the main components have physical representation, like here, you can see that one. Apart from having a list of components created here in the assets bar, as we had in the previous version of Pempot, you can also find the main version available in the canvas, which allows us for a better modification. For example, I'm going to add a just an icon that I have here, this uh, bookmark icon. So I'm going to edit the main component and you can see that the instantly duplicated copy, the instance of that main component had that effect applied as well. And that was instant. Another of the features that uh, we bring with um, this new version of components is the fact that we can swap components in cell. So here we have a copy of that element, the bookmark, and let's say I want to change it for a different component, it's also an icon. So I go to the icon and I can swap with whatever I want. I have a ton of icons here from my components. So I'm gonna search for star and I'm going to pick that one. And voila, both the main component and the copy were changed. Let's see a, a more interesting example. Here I have a description for the detailed view of a trip. So I want to click here. Um, by the way, I have here my other uh, components that are compatible with that um, you know, section. So I click on the description. Uh, that's my content category here. And I decide to go for favorite trips. So the, that component from favorite trips actually self-adjusted to that portion of the screen. To finish with this review of the main features that come with new component system, I want to uh, show you that now each uh, component brings uh, has a annotation option. So I can click here, I can create an annotation, or I can also use the uh, contextual menu, and I can write whatever I want. These annotations are just glorified comments for all the team members or even for ourselves on you know whatever relevant things uh, happen with each component. So yeah, this is the main card of the app dashboard. And that's it. Now that's very nice that I also got that annotation propagated automatically to all the copies for that component. You can see that there. And they're also available if I go to the inspect. So you can have that annotation in the, in the info pane.